Right, welcome back to the channel guys. So we're back on the uh, syndicate and we're actually on the um, smaller lake of the two. Reason being they, uh, just after we caught the last carp, they just started spawning. So they've opened certain swims, closed others. So what I've decided to do is just leave them to it um, and come on the other lake. And as I've walked round, it's empty. So I don't think anyone's fishing. Um, I have seen fish in the shallows where you where you like to think that they be. Um, so I had, a, had my lunch and uh, sat down there and watched them, but just up up the deep end now. Um, just gonna have a little look around, do another lap if I need to, just to make sure. I'm gonna dive back in them shallows just to see what they're doing. They are just, you know, sunbathing at the moment, but you, um, you'd like to think if there's carp down there, we can get a little rig, a little sly little rig in position. We, uh, we've got ourselves a chance. But anyway, I'm gonna do a lap and I'll, um, I'll be back in touch when we've got ourselves a swim. All right, see you in a bit. Right, we found ourselves a swim, guys. So what we've done is come around into these shallows. Now there are a few fish drifting in and out. So um, I've got to, got to be a little bit stealthy about how we do it. So I don't really know whether it's weedy or anything. So I'll swing you around, you probably see. There's our little bay. I don't want to get too close because there's quite a few fish that are coming in right close. Um, no doubt there's probably on a few, few on the far margin as well. So what I'm thinking of doing is probably slipping on the waders, maybe just wading out down to two, two sort of margins, just see if there's any sort of, you know, the depths and how firm it is, and might be able to just drop a little one in the edge. That's what I'd love to do, rather than cast across. Um, so I'll probably do that first and foremost, just, just have a little look with a real light lead, because I don't want to thrash this to a foam, that's the problem. So, right, let's get a little rod out and let's see what we can do. But first of all, I've got to finish this, because I am gasping. Right, see you in a bit. So a little update guys, so basically what I've done, the right hand rod, I've just sort of waded around the corner and it, has, it sort of shallows off down there, it's probably about four foot at, at most and um, it's lovely and, lovely and quite firm, sandy, so I've just dropped a little little um, D-rig on that um, with a little barrel wafter, a nice little uh, amino ester on there and just a little scattering, tiny little scattering over the top of um, 24 mil amino marine and the amino ester 16 millers. So um, yeah, I've just put over that. And on the left hand rod, I've sort of waded around this corner. And um, yeah, I've just, I've just underarm flicked one, just down into the edge because um, I've seen a couple of fish down there. 
I've heard a couple, first of all, and then a poke me around the corner, and then a heron shot out and spooked a couple. So I've just flicked one not as far as them, but just, just a bit closer into this edge, and again, just a handful. Now, I haven't done anything with the middle rod, not of yet, because I don't want to be casting the crop. I mean, I've, I've, I fancy that far margin that's good, because I've seen it again, seen a couple of fish, not in this swim, but the one down this way. I've seen a couple of fish just, just in the edge there. So I'm hoping that maybe later on tonight we might be able to get a spot, flick it over. But for now, it's quite early. It's only about, it must be about two o'clock. I think I'll sit on these two for a, a few hours and then we can reassess a bit later on. So I need to get out of this way just because it's hot and the old current bun's just coming around. So I might put the shelter up and try and find some shade. Right, see you in a bit. Given it a few hours um, and nothing's happened. Yeah, I've seen a few fish coming and going. Um, to be honest, oh, mainly down the uh, down the sort of right hand side, left hand side. I haven't really seen much, um, but I've seen a few down the down the right hand side. So what I might do is, as we go into the evening, I'm going to get that middle rod out, maybe across the far side, just have a little lead about, and see what we can find over there, because um, it looks tasty over there. To be honest. So I'm thinking maybe I'll go left hand rod and centre rod across to the far margin if it's nice and clear, scatter a few baits across there with a throwing stick and then I can just walk one round the corner in towards the shallow water um, and we'll leave that one there because that's quite a nice little trap. So, And it's a lot more firm than the, the one round to the left which is a little bit more choddy. So I think that's the plan of attack. So I'm going to probably just get in now, get the waders on and um, yeah, go and see if we can Led, a, led across to that far margin because it looks a bit a bit tasty so um yeah let's get the chesties on and jump in there and see what we can find right be in touch in a bit Right, so the rods are sorted. Let me just swing you around. So yeah, it's looking lovely, boiling on. Oh, 20, it's 24 degrees today, so it's, it's lovely and hot, but the fish are just sunbathing at the moment. I have redone, I'll swing you around, I have redone all three rods now. Margin rod around this side. There were a couple of fish just around there. Um, just sun themselves, so they're not interested at the moment, but hopefully, that's gone down with a lovely firm drop. It's only about three and a half foot, so hopefully this ones don't batter me. Um, but they look a little bit preoccupied with the little ones at the moment, so they're up the other end. So hopefully we don't get picked up, but that one looks cock on. I've put some baits across that now, and I'll leave that. The other two flicked across, don't know if you can make out with the sun. There's a rhododendron bush sort of here, 
Um, and I'll flick a couple over there. And I've got quite firm drops. They're, they're both from Ronnie Riggs. And I've got little uh, uh, Amina Marine um, cork dust pop-ups on them. And I'm just going to probably fire a few 22 millers over the top of it. So, um, yeah, we'll fire them over later on. So, um, yeah, I'll let this wind sort of die off a bit. But in the meantime, I need to get it sorted. You can probably see all these blooming seeds dropping on my poxy bed. So I need to get the, the bivvy up. Get everything out of the, uh, off the barrow, get organised. And then it can only mean one thing. Let's go and get a nice cold beer. Beer of the week. Right, so this week's Beer of the Week. Now, special mention goes to James Hewitt, who sent me a message. I think it was Instagram. Um, but what I do is I screenshotted the picture that he sent me. So, uh, yeah, if you can, send a picture in. It does help. So, yeah, I saw it in the shop. So I was in Sainsbury's yesterday, and I saw it. So I picked one up. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, this week's Beer of the Week is... Ooh, Pilsner Urquil. Probably wrong, isn't it? Again. A check one apparently. Per, pil, pils, Pilsner Yerquil. Yerquil. Don't know. There you go. <laughs> Let's have a little look then. So we know it's a check one. Check bit. It says here only brewed in. Oh god. <laughs> well, P L Z E N. How do you pronounce that? Czech Republic. The original Pilsner uh, brewed the original way. What else do you say? a 4.4 so that's not bad and that's it all right cheers james let's have a go i'm parched as well I feel like i'm burning right lovely jubbly different yeah. Straight away the aftertaste. It's weird. It's different to um it's not horrible. No, it's not horrible. But it's different to anything I've tried actually. It tastes earthy. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I can't, um, it's unique, I'll give it that. It should be called Pills are Unique. Yeah, it's different. I can't put a finger on what it tastes like, but yeah, it's different than anything I've tried, but that ain't bad. One more go. It's not my favourite, but it's not bad. That's all I'll say. If I like to rate it, yeah, there we go. This, this will be the next part of the beer of the week. I'll rate it. All right, so we'll go out of 10. 10 being the absolute Don, I'm going to go, that is a 6. So we'll start rating the beers. Pilsner, your quill, beer of the week. Cheers.
Right, <clears throat> the old current bun has finally gone down. God, it's been relentless. You get absolutely smashed up in here. So yeah, it's been, <laughs> when I arrived, it was in the shade and then obviously it just comes over and then just drops aside. And yeah, so we've been in the sun, I've been ducking out around the corner for, for a while. But anyhow, I've managed to get some baits out on the far margin. So um, yeah, I've got the throwing stick out and we finally got some out, but I couldn't see what I was doing for a lot of it. So I had to hold fire obviously the sun's right in your eyes it's so difficult to see so i've held off and literally just put some out now so hopefully hopefully they'll drift in there obviously the little margin spot around this corner that's all been done um not seeing anything of yet but obviously they're all there yet you know earlier so um we'd like to think that if they're there earlier they'll be uh sniffing about you know during the night hopefully there isn't a lot of weed out there I think the last time I fished a swim a couple of years ago, there was a lot of weed and, um, you know, I was a little bit undecided where to put rigs, but it don't seem to be too weedy. So I haven't got the deeper out because I don't want to cause too much of a disturbance. So um, I might do it just before I leave, just so I've got it in the memory bank so we know what's what. But anyway, that's that. Can't do a lot more now, guys. Um, we're, uh, we're fishing, so... Um, Hopefully we get ourselves a bite early evening. I would imagine again, probably early morning, but you never know. So yeah, like I say, if anything happens, I'll obviously let you know. If not, catch you in the morning. Good morning guys and it's a beautiful morning however we had a nightmare last night so uh last bream i showed you followed by it was another four in the night and to make it worse you probably see one of my rods is behind me there look um it's because i've lost one so gutted left hand rod over to the far margin to be honest i thought it was a bream again because as it, as it was a slow you know did it do it and I thought, oh, here we go, another bream. Get my waders on. And then it melted off. Got in the water, struck into it. It was only on for seconds and then bump, bump, pulled. So, a bit gutted, to be honest. Um, yeah, but there you go. We were on a good run. The last few vlogs we've caught. Unfortunately, it looks like a blank on this one. Um, it's about nine o'clock now. And to be honest, I need to get, get reeled in and get off home. So, one of them ones bit wounded but there you go it's fishing isn't it it's carp fishing right so keep them beer of the weeks coming in guys massively appreciate it all of them uh if you can send us a uh, picture that that does jog the old memory and um yeah keep them comments coming in and if you haven't subscribed please do 
because it all helps. And click the little bell icon because um, that'll obviously let you know when the next vlog comes out. Now, I'm out next week. I'm actually doing a little guesty session down at Swan Valley in Yateley. So never fished the lake, haven't got a clue about it really. Uh, walked around it once and um, yeah, it'd be, be exciting to um, get on there and see what that's all about because there's a couple of big old lumps coming out recently. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. So until next time guys, have a great week. We'll see you at Swan Valley. <laughs>